Hey, good morning. So you find me in this what I eat in a day on a two day hangover after the cinema's ball this weekend. So you'll have seen, I've just made a coffee um, and I am just about to have my first bottle of water. I think I'm gonna have to have about 60 of these today. I feel so dehydrated. If I look like I've got a bit of a black eye, that was a little incident yesterday with Poppy hit me in the face. So it's fine parenting a toddler she didn't mean it of course so i'm gonna have some of the pink lemonade water flavoring this is by far the best water flavoring we do in my opinion i do also like the other ones and as you can see this is another very nearly empty pot um in fact i will use all of this in this water i typically go through a pot of these every like five to seven days um, and it's a really good way to get extra water in um, and obviously when you've been boozing um, and may I say hitting the dance floor like I was on Saturday night if you are not following me on Instagram um, and you're watching this on YouTube please do go follow me over there so you can witness the sheer delight <laughs> but your muscles are going to need some water as well because I feel like I've gone 10 rounds with my Tyson I don't know why I think when I'm drunk I can dance because <laughs> I most definitely cannot so yesterday we had the pizza and the like hangover food Mackie's breakfast to get me through it wasn't a very interesting day of eating because it was just what can I eat that I'm going to be able to keep down today it's like a what I eat in a day on a hangover but trying to eat things that are going to actually make me feel good so yeah hopefully it would be a good day of eating. I mean, we're treading that line where it could go from being a good day of eating to being face planted in like a burger and chips later on. But let's just hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> and let's see how we go. But yeah, starting the day, coffee, water. And I think I'm gonna go back to bed for a little bit. <laughs> oh, why do we think we can drink after 30? I don't know why I ever think it's a good idea. <laughs> First, I've gone protein wheat bix protein yogurt, as if that's gonna save me. <laughs> Berries and chocolate chop. So a bit of like a dark forest wheat bix cheesecake breakfast thing. Um, I like to add a portion of fruit or veg with every meal. And berries I find are just perfect for breakfast. So I normally buy the frozen ones. It's, it's more cost effective doing it that way. If you buy like a pennant of strawberries, a pennant of raspberries, a pennant of blueberries, it's like 10 pound before you know it just on berries whereas the ones i get from these are actually from ricardo they're the ms ones so this is a 700 gram bag um and this is less than a fiver tesco do them morrison's do them everywhere you can get them but this is just the best way for me i put them in the microwave for a minute take them out give them a little bit of a mix put them back in for another 30 seconds and then it's like a lovely berry coolie drizzle sometimes to that i will also add some flavor drops these are just the my protein vanilla flavor drops zero calories so they're really good to add in and then on top of today's the reason i didn't add that in is i added some of the chalk shot um i'm just such a sweet fiend and this gives me that sweet hit while still being really healthy getting a portion of fruit and veg in and this um We'll have around 20 grams if not more of protein so good start to the day let's hope it's a sign of things to come so this is my lunch i've got some chicken thighs potato salad coleslaw really big salad and some beetroot and i'm just gonna put some ranch dressing on my salad and that is gonna be my lunch perfect for this absolutely a boiling day we're having like 
salads are just needed when the weather is this warm. when I was going to buy two pots of, I've now got one big fruit salad that will do me like, do that, that will do me like three or four servings. I'm going to go and have some of this. It's my fruit salad. Simple, but cheaper and probably more than I would have got in the other pots. So yeah, pleased with this. Like you said, this may not seem like a big thing to some people, but I never buy food like this. Like for someone where food's so intimidating, the prep of it, even just cutting things up and things like that, can be really overwhelming. And I really relate to that as somebody who was, you know, nearly twice the size I am today. Maintaining my weight loss has been primarily about me finding quick and easy, convenient go-to things that mean I don't have to think about food. But I realise that long term, my goal is to be able to intuitively eat and not have to rely on my fitness pal or pre-proportioned food and be able to cook a little bit more like that is the long-term goal but isn't going to happen overnight so this is one step to get to that goal and if you're in that position now if you're on a weight loss journey or you're just entering into maintenance and it's really overwhelming like that is completely normal that is exactly how i have felt up until this point and i've been maintaining my weight now for nearly 10 months so it's only now that I feel ready to even give this a shot. So this week I have made the goal of not using my fitness plan. I'm going to try and intuitively eat. I know how to eat. I need to trust myself. Um, and this is that first step. So yeah, definitely if you're new to it or you're feeling overwhelmed, you're not alone. Take it one step at a time. You know, reach out to those around you who can support you. If you do a plan like the plan that I did, the one-to-one -one diet, then you have your consultant there and that's what I help people do every day. So yes, fruit salad, made with my own hands, no pre-proportionedness, just gonna go and enjoy it. I'll see you guys for two. I'm just having a snack. I'm gonna have some of these little bad boys. Was really, really craving these today. And they're only 132 calories a pack, so they are quite a good low calorie snack. So I'm going to have one of these and finish my bottle of water because it's hot as balls and I don't want to dehydrate and I love alcohol at the weekend. So another bottle of water, a snack and then we'll have tea later on which I'm really looking forward to. It's something new, we haven't had it before so I'm interested to try it. But we have a need for tea, these the Wicked Kikin Katsu Curry Soy Protein. I'm going to do them with some veg that we've got in the fridge that needs roasting. Cheeky little yellow sticker deal, £2.3, best before today. We have got this which was in the pot as well which is like the sauce uh some carrot and rice and edamame beans so yeah i'm gonna plate this up and i will show you what it looks like okay slightly odd combo but i've got the kicking katsu curry here some roasted mediterranean veg some salad and a little bit of coleslaw i guess i do add quite a lot of um veg or fruit to my meals just to bulk them up um, and I put a bit of coleslaw because I bought some today and Jamie won't eat it. So it's going to be added to everything until it's eaten. And then there is Jamie's just without the salad or the coleslaw because he doesn't eat it. So yeah, I'm going to tuck into this now and I will let you know if it was any good. So it's post tea. I want something sweet. So I'm going to have, oh, will it focus? A mint cornetto. So it is the end of the day. We're just going to sit down to watch Love Island and I am going to have a bit of popcorn. This is the proper salted caramel popcorn. It is the best. I'll probably have like half a bag, which is around 200 calories. Um, and yeah, that is my day done. I hope you've enjoyed this slightly hungover what I eat in a day. Finishing about four litres of water, so I am feeling a lot better now than I did this morning. Um, and I feel like it's been quite a balanced day, probably more than I would normally eat, but you know try to get some goodness in there. So yes, if you haven't already, please do remember to like this video. Please comment down below what your hangover go-tos are. Please follow or subscribe. And if you are watching on YouTube, if you click the little bell button down below, you'll be notified when I upload another video. But yes, until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye.